guys, it's Avery, and today I am here with a flip through for you guys. So this is the journal that I have been journaling in for the last two months. So I journaled, journaled in it almost every day. Uh, actually, that's kind of a lie, but I journaled in it a lot. So it filled up really fast, and um, yeah, as you can see, it is very stuffed. And so the next journal that I journal in, I'm going to make sure to make this mine way thicker, just because... Um, I would like to be able to stay in one a little bit longer, although it is fun to move into another journal and do a little flip through. Um, but yeah, I'm going to flip through this one for you guys. Uh, this journal is handmade by me. Um, I just hand stitched a little patchwork on it and then I journaled in it. So yeah, here is the inside. I just had some scraps in here, which I'm going to take out since I am done in here. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to put some information in here just so like if this is ever lost, I can get it back. It says, my entire life can be described in one sentence. It didn't go as planned and that's okay. And then I have an embroidered rose right here and a piece of fabric that has my name stamped on it that I got in a piece of happy mail. And then I just have like one of my like handmade business cards. Here is a vintage magazine cutout, um, and then you open it, and it says find me where the wild things are, and I just did some journaling, and then here is some fabric pieces and a pocket that comes out, and it says I'm a dreamer, and there's like a vintage mail tag, and on the back it's just a little vintage cutout, um, and then I have some more journaling here, and then a fabric piece down here, that's like a tab. The tab idea is obviously from uh, Johanna here on YouTube. If you watch journaling YouTube, you probably have seen her. So obviously the tabs are from her idea, and I love them. So this page is a quote that says, May your heart soar and your dreams take flight, reaching far beyond, beyond the highest height. And I just watercolored and doodled some um, paper airplanes. And then the next page says, wake up and smell the flowers. And I have some vintage cutouts of pictures of flowers. And then over here, I just have some like washi tape and a pocket full of cutouts from that page. And also just some flowers from my garden. And then the next page says, happy camper. And then I drew a camper. <laughs> and then I drew one of those like, a triangle, or I didn't draw it, I cut out a bunch of small fabrics into triangles, and then I made it a banner around it, and just some fabric here, vintage magazine cut out, a tag, some fabric, um, this says collect moments with not things, this came in some happy mail, and then I just put some, a uh, little tissue paper behind it. And then on this side is a picture of me walking around a little desert, <laughs> or sand dunes. And then I did some journaling inside right there. And then I just drew some uh, trees. This page, I just have a uh, book page that is painted over that I got in some happy mail. And it's in German, which is pretty cool because um, I am not German. So I don't know what it says, but it's very cool. And then this actually is happy mail too. Um, I got this uh, printed hand in, the ha in happy mail and then I just wrote forever on it. And put it on this page and some little things to dress it up and underneath I wrote about happy mail. This page says special and then I just watercolored behind it and journaled over here about like mountains and stuff like that. This is a moon that I cut out of um, a piece of scrap paper that I like mixed my paint on. Sorry if you can hear my roommates in the background. Here I have a drawing that I did and her shirt says girl power and I just put her on some floral paper and on the side it says keep shining beautiful one, the world needs your light and this does lift up but there's not really anything underneath it, just some journaling. And then there's, this says unknown author because I don't actually know who said that. And then a cutout says this is a woman and then I wrote today I'm proud to be a woman. And I just kind of stuck that in there, so. Right in here, I have some photos from a little weekend trip that I went on. And so I just journaled on the back of those. Um, and then this is a coloring page that I did on the trip in the Airbnb. And so I just put some business cards from it. And yeah, 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 yeah. This page is another doodle that I did. Uh, I drew this little girl and I put her 
half her head on the bottom and I put head in the clouds on some cloud paper. Clever, I know. Um, this page is about personality types. I did a journal with me on this. I did a journal with me on a lot of these pages, but uh, this one got a lot of comments on it because everyone was super interested in um, personality types. So if you're interested, then go to that video and I talk a little bit about it as I journal here. And then just some other people's personality types are right here. And I just collaged a lot. I was in the mood to collage. Here I just journaled a little bit, put an old little photo here of Disney World. Underneath it I watercolored and then put this little piece of cuteness right here that I got in Happy Mail and then a quote. It says, an adventure is only as grand as you make it. You don't have to go far. That's that. And then here is another drawing that I did and it's just like the back of someone's head. And it says, if you see something beautiful in someone, speak it. And then I just doodled some flowers and did a lot of watercoloring. And then this page, it says um, things I love. So I just made a little list of things that I love and uh, collaged a little bit. I put a picture, a vintage uh, cartoon of someone laying in bed because that's what I like to do. And then some flowers up here because I love that. And journaled about it in here and just put some more things that I love and a girl in curlers and yeah. I really like this page. I think it's really cute. And I just put some pom-poms on the end that poke out so it's kind of fun to see. And then here is my bucket list. Um, yeah, that's what it is. It's just a list of things that I want to do before I die. I put these in like all my journals just because I like to keep the list um, going. And so I just kind of drew um, something that I want to see is mountains and forests and a little motel for traveling. And then here's a mom with her kids because I want to have kids one day. So yeah, and most of the things on my bucket list is about traveling. So yeah. The next page, is that the next page? Yeah. The next page <clears throat> says home away from home. And I have this little girl school girl because my home is for school right now in Denton. I go to UNT, I journaled about it, here's just like a map, and yep. This page is really similar to the one in my last journal, if you remember. Um, I just kind of wanted to make it prettier, so that's what that is. Um, this is a collage of uh, floral fabric, and then it says, She's a wildflower, bravely growing wild and free, and I just put some uh, flowers in here from Happy Mail. And then this page is about Lily, so I just have some photos of my puppy. You open it up, and I have even more photos. It says, a girl's best friend. Oop, there's like a flower. Um, and just a really cute little stickers. And then on this one it says, my goal in life is to be the kind of person my dog thinks I am. And then here, Lily's like staring at me when I'm in the bath. And I, I put, are you sure I can eat the bubbles? Or I can't eat the bubbles? So, yes, gotta love my puppy. This says, keep your eyes fixed on the stars, and it's just like a little star map page. I thought it was really cool, so I didn't want to cover it up. This page is about my journal. So I have my journaling card here, and then what I wrap my journals in, and then like a bunch of journals that I've made this year and sold. So it's just a good way for me to remember the journals that I have sold, because obviously I don't see them anymore, and I won't ever see them again because they're sold. So that's just a fun way for me to keep track of them. And then I just journaled about that, my little shop and stuff, which if you want to buy some journals for me, my Etsy is always linked down below. This is a page um, just about memories with my boyfriend. Um, I went to a carnival, so I wanted to journal about that because it was so fun, and this is like one of my favorite pictures of us, so. This page says, just relax, and I made this page kind of cute and girly because I really, like, wanted to journal about just, like, taking time to slow down and spend time I, spend time to myself and bathe and pamper and just kind of wanted to do a page like that. Here is a page that says, be the reason someone smiles today. It's kind of a different style than what I normally do, but I really like how it turned out. I think it's cute. I drew a little girl who has, like, overalls on with some flowers out of her pocket. Because that's like a famous or a popular style right now. Here is a page about my Christian sorority and my friends that I've made in it. These are like my best friends and my roommates. So, um, yeah, I just put a lot of photos in here. So, a good way is to make flip outs and stuff so you're not taking up so much space. So, yeah. 
these two are my roommates so yeah and then I journaled about that and then I also made a zine for um, my sorority I'm a new member educator so I want to hand these to the new members they just have a bunch of Bible verses in them so yeah put that in here um, and then in here, oh, this kind of, the tape did not hold, apparently. This is a page about my sisters traveling uh, around Europe. So my eldest sister was the main actress in a play that traveled around Europe. And she brought me back a postcard from Moulin Rouge, which is really, really cool. So I put that in here. And then um, just some, like, wrapping from some candy. And then... Um, this is from my stepsister who went to Switzerland and she brought me back some cute little handmade things. So I just journaled about the things that they got me. This is the last page in here. It's about August, which is my birth month. So I put an old photo of me and just kind of journaled about my birthday and said August baby. And yeah, I really like this page. It's all done with things from Happy Mail. So... I really, really love it. And then I have some empty pages. I have like two. Um, this is like a starting one, but I just really couldn't. So is this. I just really couldn't journal anymore because look at that, y'all. That's really hard. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is from June to July. And I really, really enjoy journaling in this. I'm going to miss this journal. Um, but I am moving it into a, another journal for August. I'm doing an August challenge on Instagram where you journal every single day and so if you would like to follow along with that then go follow my Instagram it's just snazzy Avery like this and I will post um, every day in there about what I'm journaling in that journal but at the end of August I will show a flip through of that journal as well so thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate all of your support and I will see you guys in my next video